This video shows surgical procedures. Viewer discretion is advised. Why is there a piece of flesh protruding out of this slider's rear? What should you do if this happens to your slider? Keep watching this video to find out more. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets and is set in Singapore. Singapore is a city-state with a population close to 6 million and 720 square kilometers of land. With this space constraint in our busy lifestyles, many prefer the low-maintenance red ear sliders as pets. But when sliders fall sick, they too need to be brought to the vet. This video will show how vent prolapse in red ear sliders are being treated at Topayo Vets. On the night of 12th of January, we received a WhatsApp message seeking advice with regards to a 13-year-old female slider. The owner reported blood streaming out of the globular body part protruding from the slider's rear. It was suspected that this slider was bitten by the other male slider it was living with. Images sent by the owner showed a slider with a vent prolapse, defined as a body part protruding out of the pelvic area via the vent. The vent is defined as the excretory opening of the slider. There are three organs which can prolapse out in a female slider, namely the bladder, intestines, and oviduct. But how do we identify which one is occurring here? Let us listen to the consultation with Dr. Singh. It's called a vent prolapse. You can see that uh, actually there are three possibilities. Two actually. Eh? The three are bladder prolapse. Bladder will be thin wall and filled with urine fluid. So that one is not bladder. Uh, intestinal prolapse, where you can see that it is an intestine coming out. Uh, usually it's the rectum and you can see the lumen. Lumen means uh, opening. Uh. You see the lumen, uh, how deep can you go in? Uh, so it's quite deep. So now we, we don't rule out, I mean I wouldn't rule out that this is a intestinal prolapse as well. So when there is surgery to be done, you have to be very careful uh, that uh, you don't uh, have any uh, closing up of the lumen. Otherwise, a uh, radius slider can't pass motion, okay? No. The initial diagnosis was that this is an oviduct prolapse. This is because the oviduct wall is much thicker than that of the rectal. A ventral dorsal x-ray was done for a confirmation. The x-ray shows non-mineralized eggs in the body. The information corroborates the initial diagnosis. This is an oviduct prolapse. There are three options in treating an oviduct prolapse in a slider. In this case, the third method, amputation is necessary, as the prolapse tissue was very swollen and infected. Now to amputate it, we have to amputate the rotten area. You pull it out a bit, and you can see there's a normal muscular area. Now this normal. So what we do, we, we will cut scalpel blade to cut, uh, cut, cut, transect across. Then uh, you stitch up the mucosa and the internal submucosa circumferentially in the circumference. Uh. A cotton bud or syringe is inserted into the lumen. Two stay sutures anchor the oviduct for resection surgery. The swollen and infected portion of the oviduct is cut away. The normal oviduct opening is sutured, then the tissue is replaced into the vent. On day 4 of inpatient services, the post-operation condition of the slider is stable. She is beginning to wake up from the anesthesia. The necrotic prolapse has been amputated and its remaining tissue have been replaced back in her body. We will continue to administer the antibiotics and anti-inflammatory medication orally. On day 5 of inpatient services, the slider is active and eating well. There are no signs of bleeding from the vent observed, 
and now she is able to urinate and defecate normally. We advise the owner that upon discharge, she is to separate the living quarters of her two sliders to prevent any reoccurrence of this incident. Two months later, Dr. Singh phoned the owner regarding an update on the slider. There had been no reoccurrence of the prolapse thus far, and the slider was leading a normal active life. She now lives alone, separate from the male slider as per advice. Early emergency surgery by amputation of the oviduct prevented septic infections, gangrene, and possible death of the beloved slider. The treatment was a great success and everyone is happy. For more information, please call our clinic's number or visit our website at topayovets.com.